Happy Saturday, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning the vlog. Any Hashtag. Full life. Yes. <laughs> so it is Saturday. We are out running errands. We just got a little Starbucks. I am stuck on the pink drink right now. It is my favorite thing. Run errands. It's a nasty day today. We're supposed to have some really bad storms later today. So we're just kind of doing our errands now before it gets nasty. And then uh, I think I'm making dinner tonight and hanging around the house. And fun things tomorrow, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Mr. and Mrs. birthday package. Off it goes to Ohio. So after weeks of hunting, I finally found the peanut butter cup halo top tony and Lindsay had told me it was the best flavor or one of their favorite flavors so i'd been hunting for it but none of our grocery stores either carried it or they were always sold out which now i know why because it's by far the best flavor i just tried it i love it i love peanut butter ice cream chubby hubby is my favorite um, ben and jerry's and it has the swirls of peanut butter in it just like the ben and jerry's does it just doesn't have the pretzels and all that bad stuff for you oh man and it's 320 for the entire pint. Uh, yeah, peanut butter cup, red velvet, and black cherry have been my three favorites. I also like pistachio and mint chip. The rest, don't need in my life. But <laughs> that peanut butter cup and red velvet, those are A plus for that low calories to be able to have ice cream every night if I want it and still stay within my calories for the day. Big fan, so. Yeah, I should have bought like four pints when we were just there because that peanut butter cup was everything. Foster, give me dubs. Good boy. Nom nom noms. Ash, give me dubs. Good boy. It is dinner time and tonight I am going to make the seared steak quesadillas, which was our last recipe from last week of plated. Quesadillas are done. And now I'm making the poblano and tomato salsa to go on top. This one was a lot of work, but I think it's going to be tasty. Here is our quesadillas. There's mine. There's Mike's. The little baby chair scoot. <laughs> Looks good. And then our somewhat chimichurri. Oh my goodness. And then our somewhat chimichurri. It's the best we could do without a blender. So now we're shopping for a blender. <laughs> so dinner is over and we have rented La La Land. So before it gets crazy and stormy here, we're gonna watch La La Land. Good morning, little bean. <sighs> Good morning. You know, I kinda need to make the bed. Actually, I need to take the sheets off and wash the sheets. And I can't really do that. Oh, and you're still cuddled up in there, <laughs> little bean. Time to get up, little bean. We got stuff to do. Stuff to do today. You are the most ridiculous of little pups, you know that? Yeah. Clearly everyone else wanted to be outside today too. <laughs> we're here. I haven't actually told you what we're doing yet, but we are searching for parking, and considering how beautiful it is today, it is not going to be the easiest. <laughs> that person is literally just rolling down the hill. We. Yep. <laughs> uh. So our goal is to go to the Houston Zoo today. But we've been struggling to find parking, so we finally found like their extra lot. So we're gonna park and then get shuttled to the zoo. But uh, yeah, it's a very popular thing to do today. And then by the Houston Zoo, there's a bunch of different parks. So all the parking nearby is all taken and the zoo doesn't have their own parking lot. Which as I was <laughs> saying earlier, I'm like, I don't know how you build a zoo <laughs> downtown and don't include like a parking garage or anything, but they didn't. So here we are, gonna get on a shuttle and head to the zoo. We made it! Houston Zoo! We've never been in this entrance because we've only been in the front one during the zoo lights. We've only been here, or at least I've only been here at night for the zoo lights during Christmas. So this is our first time ever coming during the day. 
and mostly I'm really excited to see red pandas. A maned wolf. If you guys can see him, he's huge. Because of their long legs, they make them different. He looks like a giant fox. <laughs> Hi, emus. Hello. Everyone's coming to say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Snap time for everyone. It's recording. <laughs> Habit. Seems so happy about going to this area that's covered in frogs. <laughs> Mike's favorite part. Oh, I remember this place. I remember this place. Huh. Okay, snakes. Snakes aren't so bad. These guys aren't so bad. I like them. So that's what we had in our tree, making all that noise. There they are. And more frogs back there. Ugh. These are local. These are Texas species. Ugh. So gross. There's another one down there. No, they're gross. So gross. Not our dino. Not our dino. Mike wants to add this to our yard now. Thanks, Houston Zoo. Thanks. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. Come on, come on, man. Come play. Look, look how fun. We're oh yes, we're gonna wrestle. Off around too. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I love them so much. This one's clearly on uh, on security watch right now. Having the best time with otters and meerkats. Now it's red panda time. Red pandas. He was facing this way when I first walked up. He curled up the opposite. No. <laughs> okay, the napping got a little cuter. Oh my gosh, I just want to snuggle him. I wish you were facing this direction. You're so cute. Oh, yeah, the still pretty cute. I want him. No, oh, he's so cute. I want him. I want to take him home. Are you doing a panda and a meerkat? Is that what's <laughs> a panda and a meerkat. What he means is they also have meerkats that are freaking adorable. So cute. Downtown, we went on a food adventure and we're at Aladdin. Man, oh my gosh, this place is amazing. There's Mike. We're waiting on our meat to arrive. Mike got lamb and I got pasta. And these little pillow pockets of bread look so good. So it's like, they've got the oven right there where they're doing the bread. And then they have all the different salads, foods, everything. Oh, it just, yes, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> I got the lamb pasta. I got the lamb kebab. Yep. So we're home now and I'm going to do my planner for the week. So I'm using my last Cricut Paper Company spread that I have at the moment. And it looks adorable. First week of May. So there we go. Super cute for kicking off summer. I love this washi. Probably my favorite part. And that too. Love it. Hey guys. It's Monday. That's about all I got. It's Monday. <laughs> Woo! Lunch time. So, hashtag not sponsored, but I tried some snacks by Gray's because they had them at Walgreens one day, and I've been looking for healthier snacks to eat at work because I do like to snack at work. So I decided. Hashtag. Ad. <laughs> hashtag not sponsored. I already said it. We're going to be Jenna and Julian now. Hashtag Ed. So I went online and decided to order and try out um, their little snack box thing. So this, the first one they send you. If you like snacks, head on over to graze.com. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. So I got the little sampler one. That's the first one they send. So this is an eight snack variety pack. Let's see what I can. Ooh. So we got spicy sriracha crunch. Apple, Eleanor's Apple Crumble, Raspberry Coconut Muffin, Cinnamon Pretzels, Snickerdoodle Dip with uh, Cinnamon Pretzel Sticks, yes I wanted this one, this Veggie Caesar, Salted Fudge and Peanut Cookie, and Peach Cobbler, these all sound awesome. So I tried to pick ones that were actually somewhat healthy because that's my whole goal is to have healthier snacks. So. Maybe not the snickerdoodle dip. It's still only 150 calories for that. So. <laughs> Hi, Buster Bean. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Bean. Oh, oh, no. I don't like it there. <laughs> I don't like it there. So these all sound awesome. I am really happy with the ones they sent me. So we'll see how it goes. But you don't have to do it. You can get as many boxes as you want. So it's just like any of the other ones you can pause it. But um, I want to say... I forget how much it was to start because it was a coupon, so I don't really know how much it is for this box normally, but I can let you know. I can look that up. What are you doing? 
worth a little extra money to lose some weight. Which is also how I feel about Halo Top. It's worth a little extra money if I'm losing weight and still getting to eat ice cream, so. Hashtag ad. <laughs> Not an ad. What type of ice cream? Halo Top? Halo Top. Head on over to halotop.com. <laughs> 16 great flavors. <laughs> mm, if only. If only Halo Top would sponsor me, I'd be all about that sponsorship because let me show you our freezer right now. As Mike posted on Facebook, we've got. These are real ice cream, but we got all of the Halo Tops right now. We've got Black Cherry, we got Peanut Butter Cup, we got Mint. We've got all of those down there. So yeah, we could Basically, be sponsored. Yeah, yeah we, we could. We have tried all of the flavors, I think. It's time to make dinner. And tonight I'm going to make ginger miso quinoa bowls with sesame sweet potato, edamame, and cucumber salad. Yum. Here are the completed bowls. Little plates. They look super yummy. And thankfully there's lots of extra spicy mayo, so I'm like pretty excited for that. Yum! Hey guys! It is Tuesday. It is a somewhat pretty day, but uh, basically just a normal day in Texas. So I just had lunch, and I think I mentioned, did I already mention that I'm trying to be strict on my calories again? I don't know if I talked about this. So I am trying to get back on my Fit for Florida train, and Part of that is tracking my calories. I use my fitness pal. I mentioned this before, you can add me, it's Disco Liz. I'll have to look up if the, there's two Z's or one Z, I can never remember them. Okay, it is two Z's. You wanna add me on my fitness pal, Disco Liz with two Z's. I pretty religiously put in my calories for that when I'm being good. So I just went to La Madeline for lunch, which if you have La Madeline near you, love it. It's like French Panera, I call it. <laughs> so I got a soup and a salad, and then they have these strawberry Romanoff, is what they call it. And it's strawberries, and then the topping is some sort of like sour cream with brown sugar and brandy in it. It doesn't sound good right away because you're like sour cream, but with the brown sugar in it, it tastes more like yogurt. So good, and it's only 80 calories for like the petite version of it that comes with the salad sample that I got. So I'm trying to be good and stay on my calories for the day really track what I'm eating, trying to get myself, I'm definitely going to Zumba tomorrow, but I'm trying to get myself back in the track of going to the gym, because now I like Zumba, it's just hard to get back into the gym, so that's the part I need to get going again. The struggle is real. So I already made it, but tonight's dinner is the beef and, or the Cuban beef bowls, rather. I'm proud of myself because the steak actually looks really good tonight, so I think I've, I know what I'm doing now. Maybe. Maybe. Just possibly. Time to plate. There we go. Yum. Pretty proud of this one, but look at the mountain of rice they give you. Holy cow. That's a lot of rice. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, which means it is Zumba and Survivor Day. I really like Wednesdays now. All right, so doing a test, I've been having camera issues. We're gonna see if uh, formatting the card worked. I got all the files off on my computer. And uh, just doing a test now, because I was getting a system error and my camera just kept shutting down. Um, and it seemed to be some sort of issue with displaying the video. So we'll cross our fingers that that's all it was and that now we're good to go. Okay guys, Zumba time! I'm excited, I'm ready for this. Okay, so once again I was not successful at immediately filming myself after Zumba because it is pouring rain and we got a crazy lightning storm happening, so a group of us waited it out for it to stop absolutely torrential downpouring. So I only got a little bit wet, but the lightning is still happening. And we can see it flashing around me, but definitely see it there. So it is, I think the worst of it's over. Most of it's over there, it seems like. <laughs> we were doing our like last few Zumba routines and also we heard it start pouring and the thunder and lightning and everything. So. Ah, but uh, my co-workers did not come tonight, so I was on my own, but I met some other ladies from the Zumba thing, so that was fun. And now I'm gonna go home, take a much needed shower, and have some dinner, because it's definitely hungry now after all of that. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna get home now. That's too much. I am home, I am showered. I am trying on Survivor. Wow, it's been almost an hour on this puzzle, on this challenge. That's a hard puzzle. That's, that's crazy. They did all that work to get there to rush to get ahead of each other and neither one can like finish it. Oh, Andrea got it. Andrea got it. 
Wow. That was a blind side. And Michaela sobbing? I did not see that one coming. I did not expect Michaela to be bawling over this. This is what? Wow. I'm more shocked about Michaela's reaction than Zeke actually getting voted out. Wow. So I have not filmed anything yet today, but I was jamming out to music in the car while I was driving to and from work. So did not film anything. However, I am home. Um, I just explored uh, Universal Hollywood and Epcot on the Oculus Rift through Google Earth and had a blast. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing that from now on. Like, I need to go see Disneyland. I need to see all the other Magic Kingdom. The rest of the world. I'm just going to be touring the world through Google Earth <laughs> now that Mike's shown me that. So it was way too much fun. But now it's time to make dinner. Tonight I am making our last plated meal for the week, and that is pizza pinwheels with marinara sauce and some arugula that's gonna get thrown out. Well, now these just look absolutely terrible, don't they? Oh man, I am super excited for these. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone! So today is May 5th, it is Friday, on the way to work, and yesterday was such a crazy day that I don't think I even got to mention it in the vlog that it was May the 4th. Um, so May the 4th be with you a day late and happy revenge of the 5th. Um, yesterday was a crazy day, so I posted about it on social media, but I don't think I got to talk about it in the vlog. So that happened. Uh, I posted a picture of me with the Disney Double Dose from our little fake Star Wars Weekends day, and I intended to keep posting pictures from Star Wars Weekends and did not get the opportunity because it was just too crazy of a day. But today, Maddie and Kevin are driving down from Dallas. Uh, if you didn't know, my friend Maddie, who was in a bunch of my Orlando vlogs back in the day, uh, he moved to Dallas about a year before I moved to Houston. So Maddie and Kevin are coming down from Dallas to send Cinco de Mayo with us. And I think we're gonna go to NASA tomorrow, to Johnson Space Center. So very excited. Uh, ready to finish work for the day and then head home to meet up with them and have Cinco de Mayo fun. All right, so I got off work. I've done some cleaning. Now it's time to take care of these nasty nails and get some cute nails. And Maddie and Kevin are on their way. Excited to have them here, but first, new nails. Ta-da! I went nice and bright orange. It's kind of an orangish red color and it is called a Good Mandarin is hard to find. It's cute. OPI as usual. So now we wait for Maddie and Kevin to arrive. They should be here about an hour. So ready. Maddie and Kevin already arrived. Kevin's over here. Hi. Ah! <laughs> Maddie's yep, over here finger. chopping. We're working on our Cinco de Mayo dinner. He's chopping peppers. I'm chopping green onion. I'm making a little salsa. And, uh, and I'm pretty much making sure that they're making it right. And he's supervising. Right. And meanwhile, Mike had to run off because we got home from grocery shopping and Foster had like a crazy wound on his face, so we don't know what happened. So he ran off to the vet and uh, hopefully everything's okay there. Of course it would happen today. That would happen when we have friends here, but it's okay because we got tacos, we got margaritas, and we're gonna have a good Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so here's my olive salsa that I just made and I wish I'd been vlogging <laughs> Maddie as he tried it because he's like, no, drink, I need a drink. He's not an yeah, olive person. You have the coke left on the other. There we go. But Kevin approves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just not. Not mm. me. <laughs> uh, hashtag not sponsored. Oops. <laughs> Show me your face. Hey, look up here. Sit. Hi. Poor little thing. You keep looking at them. I need to be over on this side of you so you can look at them at the same time. <laughs> Just Kevin's gonna, oh, poor baby. What happened? Maddie over here flipping tortillas. We got some shrimp back there, some ground turkey, and some rice. Then in here I made chipotle guacamole. Here's my olive salsa. All the taco fixings, we are good to go. <laughs> He's brave. <laughs> Here we go. They're probably oh. good about the same. You got the shrimp. Oh, on he's one brave. He's doing the shrimp too. Brave. Yeah. Brave. All right. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> yep. Mike has made margaritas. We've all got margaritas. 
margaritas. <laughs> Kevin's enjoying his. I'm gonna Mario. There's mine. Get a Mario Kart. Mario margarita cart. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mar margarita cart. Yeah. Did you hear that, Mike? Did you hear what he said? Oh, I heard it. The Mario Kart. No, not Mario, Mario Kart. Mario. He, thank you. He Mario. says he says Mario. What? From New York. That's how you say the name. It's not Mario Kart. Hey, Mario. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound no. right either. No. Nope. Mm -mm. I said, it's a me, Mario. Not, it's a me, Mario. Mario. <laughs> I love it. You're going to lose your mind even more. Oh, of course. That was the random what? one. What? What? I asked for a random one. What? It was the same answer. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. Something very different. All right, guys. So it is late-ish on Friday night. Maddie's dead over there. Oh, the margaritas turned into sleepy time margaritas for at least 50% of us. <laughs> so we're going to call it a night. But tomorrow we are going to NASA. We've got fun adventures ahead for the next couple days with this guy. <laughs> so that's going to be it for this week's vlog. But I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.